hi friends welcome to an exciting tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to make things move in photoshop imagine adding life to your pictures turning still objects into animated videos we will take a simple photo and make it look like things are moving in slow motion so let's break it down step by step and dive into the magical tutorial imagine this you have a regular picture but you want to make parts of it move like waterfall and mist. We will start by making the waterfall come down and the mist goes up. This might sound a bit tricky but don't worry I will guide you through it all. First let's pick a picture with a waterfall. We want to select just the waterfall part. To do this we will use a quick mask mode. We will use a soft brush to draw around the waterfall creating a selection. Once we have our selection, we will turn off quick mask mode and flip the selection by going to select menu and choose inverse. Now the waterfall is chosen and we will make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command plus J on the keyboard. Now we need to get rid of the extra parts around the waterfall like rocks and trees. So take an eraser tool and gently rub away the unwanted stuff leaving only the waterfall like this. Let's give our copied waterfall layer a name like let's call it water. Now let's do a right click on the layer and from the menu choose convert to smart object. This step is pretty crucial because you see when we are creating animations in Photoshop we will be using keyframes to tweak stuff like position, size and opacity from one frame to another. If we skip the smart object step our animation won't work so make sure to turn this layer into a smart object. It's time to bring our animation to life. We will use the timeline like a timeline in a video editor. To open it go to the window menu and click timeline. Then hit create video timeline which will add the smart object layer to this timeline. Now we can edit this water layer here. By default the timeline is set to 5 seconds but I want it shorter like 2.15 seconds. To do this just trim the end of the clip to make it shorter. Now let's make the waterfall move. We will use the something called keyframes. They are like checkpoints that show where things change. We will start by clicking the stopwatch next to transform. This means we are ready to make things move. We are starting with one picture then at the end we want the waterfall lower. So we add a keyframe at the start and another keyframe at the end. To make it move we will use the free transform tool. Head over to the edit menu and choose free transform. We are aiming to make the water look like it's flowing downwards. So we will focus on increasing the height. Just make it taller not wider. Once you are happy with the adjustment click on the tick icon. This confirms the changes we have made. Now take that keyframe we have created and slide it all the way to the end of the clip. Let's click play. Check it out everything shaping up nicely and here is a cool tip if you want your video to keep playing in a loop look for a little gear icon and give it a click then make sure you check the box that says loop. This will keep the action going without a pause. Now to make the things look smooth and keep the loop seamless we are going to add transitions. Have you spotted that square icon that's black and white that's our transition tool click on it. Once you have opened it up choose fade as the type of transition and because our clip is only 2.15 seconds long we want a quick transition. So pick a small value I went with 1.23 seconds. Once that's set click and drag the fade transition and place it right at the end of the clip. Let's not forget the beginning we need a transition there to change the duration to 0.27 seconds nice and quick. Click and drag the transition and place it right at the start. If you want a perfect loop use the same durations values which I used here but feel free to experiment with different timings if you like. Now it's time to group this layer. Right click on the layer and pick group from layers. Now let's multiply this group. Press Ctrl or Command plus J about 5 times to create multiple copies of this group. Let's make this duplicated clips flow seamlessly for a smooth and jerk free animation loop. Start by choosing the top clip and moving it. 
slide it so that the end transition lines up perfectly with the start of the timeline. Now take a look at the second clip from the top. Here is the secret, don't touch a thing, keep it exactly as it is. Alright, moving on to the third clip, give it a nudge, make sure the beginning of this clip lines up perfectly with the end transition of the clip above it. Got it, perfect. Time for the fourth clip, same process, move it so that it start aligns seamlessly with the end transition of the clip right above it. Repeat this process for the remaining clips. Move each one so that their starting points align beautifully with the end transitions of the clips above. It's time to gather all layers. Click and drag to select all the groups you have created. Now press Ctrl or Command plus G to group them into one big organized group. Next up, let's manage the video's duration, shorten it down to a crisp 5 seconds. Now we are going to add a layer mask to this group. Grab a soft edge brush and select black color. Then gently paint over the parts you want to hide like those rocks and people. Now hit play button and watch the water comes to life. Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? But we are not stopping here. Now let's bring the mist into the action. Take a lasso tool to draw a rough shape around the misty area. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a quick selection will do. Now press Ctrl or Command plus J to create a copy of this misty selection. Give it a cool name like mist and don't forget to rename the top group to water so you know what's what. Now right click on the mist layer and choose convert to smart object. Let's make that mist move. Start by clicking the stopwatch icon for transformation. Add a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Now we are going to trim things a bit making our clip 2.15 seconds long. Next. Slide your way to the end of the clip to add another keyframe down. Now transform the layer. To do this, find the free transform option in the edit menu. We want the mist to rise. So expand its width and height. And don't forget to keep the link between width and height active. Let's give it a 25% expansion. Click that little tick icon to apply them. Once that's done, drag this keyframe all the way to the end of the clip. Do you remember those transitions we applied earlier for water? Well, they are back. Just like before, add transitions at the beginning and end of the clip. And guess what? Keep those duration values exactly the same. It's like maintaining a steady beat in your animation. Now let's see the magic in action. Give it a play. And it's looking pretty awesome, right? Mist is coming to life. Let's organize this mist layer. Right click on the mist layer and find the group from layers option, click it. Now press Ctrl or Command plus J about 5 times to create 5 identical misty groups. Just like we did with water. Let's arrange these duplicated groups. Start by selecting the top clip and moving it so that its end transition lines up perfectly with the start of the timeline. Now move on to the second clip from the top. No need to change anything here. Let it stay just as it is. For the third clip, slide it into the place so that its starting point lines up perfectly with the end transition of the clip right above. Select the fourth clip and give it a gentle push to align its start with the end transition of the clip above. Repeat this pattern for the remaining clips. Move each one so that the start aligns up perfectly with the end transition of the clip above. Now click and drag to select all these groups. Now press Ctrl or Command plus G and we have created a group. Give it a new name, Mist. Now add a layer mask to this Mist group. Take a soft edge brush and choose black color. Now carefully paint over the areas where you don't want the effect to show. Imagine Mist is gracefully rising above the water. So place the Mist 
group right on top of the water group. This creates a mesmerizing effect where it appears as if the mist is gently moving upwards creating captivating scene of a waterfall in motion. It's like adding depth and dimension to your animation. Now hit that play button and watch our creation come to life. Looking good, right? We have brought our vision to reality. Let's save it as a video. Go to the file menu and choose export. Click on render video. Pick the destination where you want to save your animated file. Here is where you can customize things. Adjust the video format, size and quality to match your preference. When you are all set, click that render button. Watch as your animation gets transformed into a video. And there you have it guys, our final animated video. We have taken a static image and turned it into a captivating visual slow motion video. If you want this animated effect in action, let me know in the comment section. If a lot of people are interested, I will do an action to this effect within a week. That's it for this video guys. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials. Please like, share and comment. I will see you in the next video. Until then take care and happy editing.